name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. As we forgive those. As we forgive those. Trespass against us. Trespass against us. Lead us. Not into temptation. Not into temptation. But deliver us. From all evil. From all evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Yes. Lord is with you. Blessed are you among the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I went under the bush. Oh no! I'm gonna let it shine. I did another bush. Oh no! I'm gonna let it shine. I did another bush. Oh no! I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light. Let him shine, let him shine, let him shine, let him shine. Thank you. Hello children. Today I'm going to be telling you stories about healing miraculously. Now, this was a time when Jesus was performing a lot of miracles and he started becoming popular. So there was a lot of crowd always wherever he went. Okay, there was always crowd wherever he went. Now one day like this only, a large crowd was around him. And Zarias, who was in charge of the synagogue, came and fell at Jesus' feet. And he said, my little daughter is very sick. So he had a daughter and she was very sick. So please come and touch her. Then she will get well and live. This was what Zarias said. Now Jesus went with Zarias. So he was walking with Zarias and a large crowd was still there. And, um, you know, people were still pushing on every side just to meet Jesus. Okay, they were to meet him. They used to really uh, try to push. And this was this every day, wherever Jesus went. There was a woman in that same crowd who had a very bad bleeding for 12 years. Now she had been to many doctors and had spent all her money. But instead of getting better, she got worse. She had heard about Jesus and stood in the crowd behind him. She said, she said to herself, If I could just touch his garment, I will get well. Then she touches his garment and her bleeding stopped at once. She knew she was well again. Suddenly, Jesus felt that his power had healed someone. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my garment? His disciples answered, So many people are pushing around you. How can you ask who touched you? But Jesus kept looking around to see who it was. The woman who was healed came up, trembled with fear. And she fell again at his feet and told him, 
everything. Jesus said to her, My daughter, because you believed in me, you are well. Go in peace. You will be all right. While Jesus was saying this, okay, so while he was saying this, someone came from, came from Zarias' house and said, Your daughter is dead. So Zarias was with Jesus that time. Okay, remember when Jesus was performing, uh, I mean, when he was walking, that point of time, Zarias was with him. And when the men came to Zarias' house, they saw Zarias for Jesus, and that's when they told uh, Zarias, Your daughter is dead. So don't trouble Jesus, that is the master, any longer. But Jesus did not listen to them. He told Zarias, You don't worry, only believe in God. In God. Then he called Peter, James, and John to go with him. So what did Jesus do? He said to Peter, James, and John, please come with me to Zarias' house. When they came to Zarias' house, people were crying loudly. Jesus went inside and said, Why all this noise crying? The child is not dead. She is only sleeping. But they laughed at him. So he sent them all out. When they laughed at him, he sent everybody out. He only took the child's parents and three disciples, that is Peter, James, and John, into that room, into the child's room, and he and he held her hand and said to her, Talitha come, which means in Hebrew, little girl get up. At once she got up and started walking around. Now she also, that girl also was 12 years old. People could not believe what had happened. She said, give us something to eat. Be sure you don't tell anyone about this. Alright children, so this was the story. These were the two stories that happened in Paris. Alright? So you